expressing yourself? Like, what is the one thing that drives you? I know you were talking about uh, consistency. Is that one of the powerful things that keeps you always writing and always doing the work? And uh, I'm just curious what it is for you. I, I feel like when I was younger, I, like consistency now, it's weird because television's a different medium, but I felt like I really did, like when you're young, you burn with like a ferocious need to be seen, you know, and a need to be like, to, 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 to be, for me it was so much about, I felt that, that, I, that I did not exist officially, and I wished to exist officially. And that like fury to be like making the thing that reflected how I saw the world was a very, very powerful feeling for me for a long time. Can you repeat the question? I don't even know if I remember it. <laughs> That's OK. Let's try. What keeps you going? What keeps you going? Yeah, but that's not why. That's more like something I had to learn. I had to learn how to work. And when I worked, I got better. But it's not in a weird way that I guess that's, that's my question. Because it's, um, what, like, yeah, we all have a fire to maybe do something. But then what helps you to do it? What was the thing that you were able to channel that, that gives you that? Oh, dis I would say discipline and doing it more. Um, well, I'll cover, I'll, I'll, I'll damp while you're thinking. That's great, thank you. Um, the, the, re the reason I still write, even though I can't get people to read what I'm writing anymore, like, unlike the old days, um, <clears throat> I don't do all that well in the real world, um, but when I'm in the creative, expressive, whatever process, I'm the purest me I can be. And I love being in that state. And by being the purest me, um, part of the creative expressive act is a, is a state of receiving. Um, it's not, it's, it, it, I don't consider creating an aggressive act. I consider it a, a receptive act in that I, when I do it, I feel um, things make sense or I feel connected to something larger than myself. And I know that sounds almost spiritual, but in a sense it is. Yeah, it and, is. And for me, when I go to a cafe and get a new idea, that experience is fantastic. In fact, it's so full that I almost don't have to write it anymore because that experience in the cafe, maybe it's the quality of the coffee, but. Um, <laughs> Um, I can't beat it. Because I, I remember when I was younger in, in New York and, and in Vancouver too, I had, I had a, each girlfriend at the time was a workaholic. One was a costume designer, so she'd go off to work and she'd come back and she had a list of 800 things she did that day. Or my, my other girlfriend was a, uh, an events planner and she, and they'd, you know, they'd come home and say, well, what did you do today? And I'd say, well, I, I had a thought. <laughs> and, I, and I couldn't help but feel guilty because all I did that day was have a thought. Um, but man, I love that thought. But it's the, that's the thing. Like Chekhov used to just walk around all day having thoughts. And then he'd write some of them down. And, but I do think what you're saying is very resonant. Like the idea that, that it becomes such a part of your life. Like when you're writing, like if you're, a, like I feel like if you're always writing, it's like, the synapse firing and it's like your life is like sort of like this and then there's a circuit that needs to be completed by having some thought, you know, and then you get used to having the thought. And it's like Somerset Mom said that every writer has a chip of ice in their heart that where you're always part of life but always observing. And then the need to create out of that removal from from like that's like removal becomes an integral part of your life. I think uh, the, I like the walking because it, it, it reminds, but I, that when I'm outside, I write so much walking. I love walking. Like people are like, I was like, I just walked for two hours today. <laughs> They're like, what's wrong with you? Uh, but I like, I just love being out in the world. And especially when I'm writing, I kind of go, oh, what would my character think about that? Or like that you're still doing writing while, you, while you're walking. But the idea of what keeps you going, I feel like for me, writing is the one time that I am, okay with uncertainty. I'm really okay with it when I'm writing. That it's an opportunity to uh, 
explore questions or like things that frustrate me in life and 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 uh, it's a way of channeling that energy that would not be channeled in any other way that would be destructive to me <laughs> as a person yeah. you know of taking um, something that that I want to understand that I want to figure out and actually have a place and a medium to go what is that I don't get that and being able to be obsessed about it and try to figure it out so it's a place to throw that energy and and turn it something that could possibly be destructive to you into something that's really productive and sharing those questions with other people and they're like yeah, I have that question too what is that you know like just it's it's the, it's a I don't know it's a way of sharing my confusion about the world <laughs> I don't know well, it's a confusing um, place kind of. yeah yeah it's a way of a place of asking questions and being uncertain and and uh, and being brave and taking risks. I don't necessarily think I would ever go skydiving, but uh, you know, I'll certainly sit down and write a play and <laughs> go like, I have no idea what's going to happen with this, but I'm committed to it. I'm going to keep writing it. I'm going to take two, three years to write this <clears throat> because I believe that it's important. That's kind of crazy, but that's the kind of risk taker that I am.